What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're checking out a brand new game called Dyson Sphere Program. It's a game where you take part of an intergalactic factory building robot and you try to harness energy and power. Stars. Eventually. First, you gotta start off kind of like Satisfactory or Factorio. It has a lot of those things. Build conveyor belts, build smelters, build manufacturing things. Get more items, build more things, and then possibly harness the energy of a star. Seems interesting. Let's go! Welcome to the actual universe. The actual, not the fake one. different from our homeland. Should you be able to adapt to the laws of physics in a short time, I am your advisor and will help you through this mission. Oh, good. Whoa. It's getting a little hot in here. Could you find any other route to take than right next to that giant star? Sir. Everything here is yours. As one of Cosmo and the pioneer of the Dyson Sphere program, you will explore this cluster step by step. By using the resources here to construct the Dyson Sphere to provide energy for the center brain to maintain homeland, starting from scratch. Okay. I have chosen a designated planet for you to start the mission, which has necessary resources for initial development. Has to rank now, three, drive eh? the space capsule to the planet. Well, which one is it? Which one did you point me to, sir? All right, I'm just uh, guess I'm just gonna go forward here. The Hasterang Three. Apparently, Hasterang Two is uninhabitable. Looks like the this looks like the joint. Let's go. <sighs> this is exactly how you should drive into uh, a planet. Now directly. you are about to reach the designated planet. Oh, look at this. Nifty. This we are is mech. Icarus, a lightweight industrial mecha with powerful functionality. You can use the arrow keys or right click on the destination to control its movement. Oh. In this mission, you will manipulate Icarus to travel beyond the stars and create miracles. All right, Autobots, transform and roll out. Okay. We're doing it. Now try to recycle the space capsule. Right click on it to recycle. We're doing it. So this game is a lot like Satisfactory, a lot like Factorio. Collect resources, such as trees, gravel, etc. In the meantime, hold down shift and right click to give a series of commands. Shift and right click. You receive several items after recycling the space capsule. Click the inventory button in the lower right corner of the screen. To open the cabin to view them. Okay. All right. So let's scope this out. Hydrogen fuel rods, iron ingots, magnets, copper ingots, copper lot log log. I love log. I love lo love it. Plant fuel. Beautiful. All right. New tutorial background. What is the Dyson sphere? What is this? You can hold down mouse middle button drag to rotate the angle of view, or slide the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. Ah. I gotta figure that out on my own there, buddy, but thank you. Appreciate it. What is this? Coal. Beautiful. Yet you have not unlocked the construction menu, which will be done automatically when complete any technology research. Click the technology tree button at the bottom right of the screen to open the technology tree and activate a research. Okay. Nifty. Okay, so the only thing we have going on here is electromagnetism unlocks. Well, what does it unlock? Wind turbines. Nice. Tesla. Tesla towers. What do Tesla towers do? Power transmission facility can extend your power supply range of the power grid with a certain connection length and supply area. And then we have a mining machine. 
The more veins covered by the mining machine, the faster the mining speed, and the same vein can be covered by the multiple mining rings. But the more mining rings covered, the faster the consumption. Hmm. Right. And then looks like we got upgrades here too. Oh, look at this. NQ, Universe Exploration, Mecha Cores, Mecha Core level. I have no idea what that is. I have no idea. Okay. All right, so do I just go and scope this joint out or what? Core energy. Oh no, I run out of energy? Oh no. So like replicators, components, magnetic coils. It seems like that's what we need for our technology tree. So when we got replicators, so I would need copper, copper and rings. Right. Let's produce 10 of these because we need for our research. Boom. So that's how. Right. Okay. Now it's building up because we needed 10 of those magnetic rings, magnetic coils. Doesn't really tell you that though. So you gotta, I guess you gotta kind of figure it out for yourself, but it's gonna be fine. Um, unlocks, beautiful, and. Electromagnetism. You have unlocked a new automatic mining machine. Which will automatically collect ores for you? Of course, its capacity is limited. You may wish to transport these minerals to a smelting facility automatically. Now, what else do we have here? What we got? You have created a mining machine to achieve mm. ore collecting automation. Pick it up from the inventory or select it on gathering of construction menu to build it. Nice. So unlocks. 40 MJ max core energy. Nice. Okay, so we have to. We have a very limited amount of uh, power here for our mech suit. We are robot. Beep boop beep boop boop. Basic assembly processes. Okay. Mm hmm. What about you? Basic logic system. Oh no. <laughs> oh no. What do we have here? Conveyor belts. Ooh. Starter MK1. Storage. Let's activate that. I mean, we got coal and we have stone over here. I don't know if that's a good place to start. We also have copper. Oh, what's this? Ooh, iron. Yes, this might be a good place to start. We got stone, we got coal, we got iron. It's insufficient. Insufficient Energy power. Is required in all mecha activities. If it is depleted, the activities will be restricted. You can click the mecha panel button at the bottom right of the screen to open the mecha panel and resupply fuel into the fuel chamber. Right, but I'm standing next to this wind turbine now. You have established your first power grid. Boom. Not all power facilities has its power supply area. Use the Tesla tower to extend the area of the power grid. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Auto saving, beautiful. So we go to building. Yes, let's get this. Let's get this mining machine here. You can use the R key to rotate the mining machine for covering more veins. The more veins covered, the faster the ores will be gathered. If you want to ignore grid snapping, try holding down the shift key. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if we can snag up a bunch of these. That's just a gang. Oh, that's a good one. That looks like it's a good one right there, brother. The drones! Get it, drones! Alright, so power. Needs to go, give me some plugins. Plug it in, plug it in. There we are. You have done building the first power transmission facility, Tesla Tower. It can carry out short distance wireless power transmission and expand the power supply area of the power grid. Click on it to view the current power grid information. Oh, okay. So this is our active grid. And as long as we're in this blue, we'll, we're gaining power in our mech suit here. So that's good. But I guess we need to figure out how to, you know, make things. <laughs> how, to, how, to, how to build things, I have no idea. Now for our technology tree, we need 10 of these. All right, and what about you? What about you? Upgrades, yes, sure. We're queuing this. Beautiful. Getting upgrades. Let me, let me upgrade you. Okay, so we need some iron and copper bars. Take the max. Max it out. Let's 
All right, so we're gonna need some copper. Oh, okay. So we have some plant energy. Oh, okay. Oh, nice. Fantastic. So the plants, by knocking down all the trees, we're using green power, green energy. Feeling good about it. Now, look at that, look at that power rise. We have the power. Beautiful. Good. Good. I was getting concerned there for a second. Now, I need to find that copper node again. Where was it? All right. Here's our copper now. Fantastic. Fantastic. Let's get the mine, bro. So, basically, what I'm gathering out of this is that, well, other than the copper, is the, uh, the start out is going to be a little rough. It's almost like when you go to uh, Satisfactory when you're trying to find the ores and you're just trying to build up as much as you can. And it's, it's the, the initial parts of the grind. But then once you start getting into it, it could be pretty interesting. I dig it so far. I like it. Give me a second here. Okay, 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 kid. I'm going to chop you down. Chop you down to the ground. I need, I need power. Beautiful, lovely, and tons of logs. Can I fill myself up with logs? <gasps> I can. Oh, these these poor these poor trees have no idea what they have in store for them now. Look at this. Now we're just we're just crashing. We are crashing. All right. So let's go ahead and make ourselves some copper. Copper plates. Okay, so now we just need four of these. Beautiful. All right, so let's grab that into our technology tree. It's rocking. It's rolling. Beautiful thing. Oh, nice. Basic logistics system. Conveyor belts, sorters, and storage units. Let's go ahead and see if we can't build some of this stuff. I know our upgrades here. You we have need received twenty the of each. And the conveyor hmm. belt, which can achieve full automation now. Use the conveyor belt to transport the piled up ores from the mining machine, and the sorter can deliver the ores from the conveyor belt to the smelter for automatic smelting. Okay, so logistics. Let's try. When putting a conveyor ooh. belt, all you need to do is determine the starting point and the end point of it. In addition. Use the up arrow key to lift up one level, and use the down arrow key to drop down. Oh, nifty! Oh, okay. Press keypad okay. zero we to reset the construction height of the conveyor belt to the ground. If you don't want the conveyor belt to be attached to the building, you can try holding down the shift key. Huh. Okay. Fantastic. Uh, let's see. So we need some more iron. So if you have manual research up, it'll automatically take whatever you have inside of your inventory and just start upgrading it. Okay, for level research complete, boom. Yes, give me more power, more power. No man should have all that power. All right, let's go ahead and we can get our storage unit finally. Oh, okay, I have all these things. Oh, I have to build it manually and then place it. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Ah, that's what we must do. Okay, so let's go ahead and we'll spin this around. There's a lot of stuff going on. Hey, bud, you just get out of that. Appreciate it. All right, so we're building. You built a storage. I which did. Which can be used to store cargo. Okay. You can manually store or use the sorter to automatically stock the cargo. Oh, okay, so a sorter. The sorter is a transportation connector of cargo <gasps> between facilities. Oh, okay. It will automatically transport them. Nice. The supply facility yes. And the receiving yes. Facility Get it. Get it. Go. Come on. Uh huh. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Get everything. Crank it all in there, brother. Beautiful. So now, now what? Technology tree. Upgrading all this, all this fun stuff. Research complete. We need some smelters, bro. Improve logistics. No, don't need no, don't need any of that. But I do need some smelting. Is that what this is? Yes, that's what I need. Succeed. It can be done. All right, so our research is going up. Our getting, we're getting all this copper in here now. Automatic metallurgy is beautiful. Fantastic. So now we'll have metal. We don't have to worry about smelting it. Ah, so good. Okay. 
So now we go into our research. Electromagnetic matrix, you say? What does this do, eh? Huh? Huh? What do you Matrix lab. Center brains connector uses the produces matrices uh research technologies. The more the matrix labs, the faster the production and research speed. Nice. What about you? Basic assembly. Yeah, let's activate that. Yeah, we're gonna activate that. Okay, let's see here. Fantastic. I like how you can actually, instead of having to smelt everything initially, if you just click on this, it'll automatically smelt the copper for you. So you don't have to, you know, worry about smelting the copper bars first and then creating the circuit board. You just hit the circuit board and it starts creating what it needs to succeed. You know what I'm saying? Nice. There goes that research. Killing it. You can now build a smelter. I sure can, buddy. I sure can. Okay. I think we're good. Need to take out some trees here real quick. Beautiful. So if we want to get that copper from all the way over there, we're going to have to build a giant conveyor belt system that rolls through here. I think we don't have to maybe make it. I just need to have a storage area so we can pick it up. So even if that is just enough. Let's see here. Boop. Get all of them. Nice. Power. Yes. Crash. We must crash. Angle's too wide. No, it's not. So, we need to make a bunch of conveyor belts. A gang of them. Okay. Boom. A lock step. Now, we'll need to connect the conveyor belts over to here, which is a long ways away. But you know what? We'll figure it out. It'll be fine. Yeah, splitter. We don't have that just yet. Dang. Okay, well, you gotta crawl before you walk. So let's go ahead and... Yes. We got plenty over here. So let's go ahead and we'll make ourselves a smelter. We already have one. Assembly machine. Nice. Smelter. Let's see. We'll build that. You built a smelter. I did. Smelt basic materials, such as iron ingots and copper ingots automatically. While you want to make the raw materials and products get in and out of it autonomously, you need to use sorters and conveyor belts. Okay, so let's get this. We'll get a little sorter action going on here. Nice. So we have two sorters. Oh, look at that. I don't need I don't need nothing. We don't Not need any conveyor belts. belts. The sorter does it all the for less us. Than key to copy the recipe and the greater than key to paste the next building that needs to set the same recipe. Nice. So now we have iron bars and iron ores being smelted and, and all sorts of doodads and whatnot. Boom. Nice. You will have to the matrix lab other than the center brain connector. You will use it to upload the matrices to the center brain to obtain technologies. We're amazing. All right. So what do we need to do to get them? A lot of stuff. A lot of things. What is that? Glass. We just need stone for that? Amazing. We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. We can build one. Just one, though. Just one. Just a tip, just to see how it feels. All right, so let's build ourselves another jam right here, brother. It seems like when everything starts blinking is when, that's when we're having trouble. We're, getting, we're having some massive problems. But our Matrix Core, she is ready to arrive. Or Matrix Lab, that is. I don't know what that means. Boom. Yeah, we need some power. Matrix Lab. You can use it to make super matrices or research technologies that require them to unlock. Ah. The super matrices are the source code of the center brain for maintaining the home world. 
you can upload as many super matrices to the center brain as possible. You can be benefit to unlock more actual world technologies by operating the home world simultaneously. Nifty. Can't wait. Can't wait. All right, so one of the five basic core codes that keep the center brain simulating is the foundation of all scientific and technology research made in whatever. Okay, so we're going to need computer parts and some magnetic coils. You know, it's wild. I didn't realize that these drones are basically taking my power. So whenever they have a long build and you're not near anything, it's going to drain your core power. Super serious, bro. But our conveyor belt is almost complete. Our copper ore is now going to be flowing to our jam here. Now I'm going to have to do a couple things. We, haha. <laughs> All right. So let's see conveyors, logistics. We're going to need a couple more of these. Let's get five of these jams right here, brother. Right here, brother. So what we'll do is we'll place something for there, but then we are going to place something for here as well. Lack of item. Great. So in the meantime, we'll do a little splitter action here. Not a splitter action. Uh, I get those confused. The so uh, sorter. My bad. Sorter brings everything into there. So we have a storage for the iron. And of course, we are going to need more power. Ha, 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 ha. That seems like it's going to work just fine for everybody. There you go. There's some more power for you, bud. Okay. So now we have the iron bars here. And we'll get this over to you. And then we have our computer chips, which take iron ore and copper bars. We also have this, which takes copper bars. We have that going in there, so copper, copper, and then we're going to need some iron over here. Some iron, I say. Oh, okay, well. And then you. There. So this way we can have a sorter that goes into here. And then a sorter that goes into there. Nice. So there's computer chips. And we're going to need a sorter that comes out of there. Boom. So now we got iron. And we should have... Oh, whoops. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. This, this is right. Oh, hold on. Okay, so this is where I mess up all the time. So we need to connect it and go into there. That will direct everything to go in. Fantastic. It's good stuff. I like this game. It does have uh, some, some crazy satisfactory vibes, bro. And when it comes to satisfactory, I'm a big fan of it. That Factorio, all your favorite stuff, all your favorite games. Now we have to figure out a way for us to get these copper bars over to this factory up here. And I'm wondering, can we have a sorter? We gotta make two more. Well, probably three more. pull from this line and pull it over to this line. I doubt it. I highly doubt it. But you never know. You never know until you try. Yes, we can. Alright, so that goes now into there. And the production is getting boosted. Let's go. So, now we need more conveyors to get us to this building here. So now I we'll guess we'll have to elevate. Elevation. And then start going back down to the ground. Endpoint must be horizontal. Well, what do you think I'm doing? Boom. And last but not least, grab you 
into there. The coils, they are being built. The power is struggling. Build, build my pretties, yes. The power is real. Fantastic. So we need 20 of these. Magnetic coils, I've got zero apparently. Oh, because we have to build an intake for it. Oh, okay, 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 okay. We still need a little bit more power though. It's struggle, it's struggle city, for real. All right, so let's get ourselves a nice little sexy bit of these. We need a bunch of them. And while we are at it, let's go ahead and build some more conveyors. Because we're gonna need them. Okay, so now I would like to choose a start. Let's start right there. And we'll take a nice sorter. Drop it like it's hot there, Ked. And then take this, drop it like it's hot into there. Boom! We are building matrices and the world is crumbling at our feet. It's sucking up too much energy. It's too much. It's much too much. Um... Oh crap. Woo! We've already have 10 of these. Love it. The power though is it's just, it's just terrifying. Uh, but we are going about to build five more wind turbines. We have to have some sort of different energy source. There, there, there must be. So when it comes to getting the technology tree, I, I've been playing for two hours, man. I've only unlocked this technology tree. It's pretty wild. Now we have liquid fluid storage. We also have efficient plasma, but this is the jam I really want. Improved logistics. We need a hundred. We're just going to knock out that because it had splitters and better was this M sorter MK2. So we can actually maybe move more of that ore over into the smelter faster. We got that going for us. That's the plan. That's the goal. But it seems like this we just need to upgrade this, and we'll see how that goes. If not, then we'll just have to get some more conveyor belts. Move some storage around. But I think this definitely needs to get upgraded. Can we upgrade this at all? Yes, no? We're just not getting all of the copper ore in here, and believe me, there is plenty of it to go around. So, we shall see. I think it all has to do with this sorter. If we can try to get this moving and grooving a little bit faster, shaking bacon, we'll be cranking it out. It's pretty fancy. I dig it. But folks, let me know what you think in the comment section down below. This game is pretty wild. It's a very satisfactory, very factorio driven kind of game. But if you need something a little different, you need to get those juices, those creative spaghetti conveyor belt juices flowing again, by all means, check out this game. It's only $17.99 on Steam right now, the early access. 10% off, so get it in its first week while you can. I promise you, you're going to have yourself a good time with it. But that is going to be our episode for today. If you enjoyed this video, by all means, hit that like button, helps out my channel ever so much more than you know, and if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos are coming out every single day, every single week. Folks, have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, like shout, y'all, and I'll check you out right here again in the Dyson Sphere program next time.